good, fam? What's good? Hey, y'all see us? What we doing out here? <laughs> what you doing? Out? That's your backyard? Nah, Lizzie, this ain't my backyard, man. Ooh, I wish it would. One day, though. Watch this. One day. Out here vibing early in the morning, y'all. Checking it out. Uh, my mom, me and my mom is one of our favorite spots and stuff, man. Little duck pond. I'm gonna show y'all, stay with me on this video, man. I'm gonna show y'all little ducks, take y'all a little tour around the little spot. Uh, real, real loving spot, real sinful, you know what I'm saying? Peaceful and stuff. They're doing a little construction out here, that's okay. They had to park a little farther away, that's all right, though. Ain't nothing like a dude like me, you know what I'm saying? Sitting out here loving it, though. Y'all see the glow, how y'all doing this morning? Y'all glowing like this this morning? Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all glowing? Got my little chest dug out of Hey, made myself at home. Shit, if I was a drinking man, I'm a little beer out here, man. I, I I don't fish, but if I could fish or do something like that, I'd throw that damn pole out there in that damn water, man, sit there all night, all day. But, um, man, coming to you something different. Loving on you. In the elements, in nature. You see us. Got one of the tree of lights next to us, man. It's a beautiful tree, man. Deep. Ooh, I touched it, rubbed on it, mm, hugged on it, loved on it. Hey, in that nature, you know how they say, get in that nature. You know, Ralph be saying, get in that nature. I, Elijah Mean and all them you beautiful people out there, man. Get in that nature. They right, man. That sun come out, boy, I race to it. I'm running to it. Get in that energy. That's your supreme energy, y'all, right? All right, y'all, that's raw. Man, get it. Get it, get it, get it. It's better than taking that vitamin D medicine and all that or supplements and stuff like that, man. Just get in and sit in it, man, all right? I got my headphones on so I don't try to close out all the, the noise and distractions. They working around. I don't want to disturb nobody, man. I'm just trying to get in the people's own because I know people got to work and stuff and all that stuff, man. But I thank you for coming. Man, I really appreciate y'all comments out there, man. Y'all going strong with your boy, man. Believe me, man, it's, man. See, I'm somebody who recognizes other people, man. Bump what I'm doing because it ain't about me, man. Real talk. You hear, you want to find out how it is to be self, self-aware, self-confident, self-courage, a person, a coach. How can I be like this man right here who I've seen, I've watched since November, October, go through things, man. He's a strong dude, but I didn't watch the journey with him and seen him come and elevate and go from a cocoon inside a cocoon stage, transformation, and go to this butterfly, man, and just come. Let me tell you something. Not me or my ego, not me uh, thinking too much of myself. I've always been a butterfly, all right? I came out of my cocoon stage a long time ago, but what happened was I had to reinvent, yeah. I had to reinvent myself. I had to learn more, all right? I had to be uh, more aware, self-aware about myself, and that's what this condition that I was in at one point in time sent me to, and I'm so grateful for it, though. So many people, many people would look back and be like, Man, I, man, I ain't going through that no more. I, man, I, I wish I didn't have to go through that or da da da. Man, I've come to a point, people. Let me tell you something, man. You're looking at a living testimony that I can accept what I've went through because, like I've always tell you, I'm a survivor, man. I'm that guy that, man. You can put me on my knees if you want to. You can put me in a despair, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna rise. I have nothing else to do but rise. I am anointed. I am somebody who's come here with a message. Didn't know it for a long time what the message was or what my purpose was, and I was just uh, floating in this like a cloud, all right? But you know, now that you come to it, you come to your fruition because you um, went through some trials and tribulations that brought you down so deep in your debts that, man, you ain't got nothing to do but focus on yourself and be aware of yourself. Hey, it's all right. You learn, man. The lessons, uh, like my brother Yusef say, it's not blessings, man, it's lessons, man. Lessons. Did you learn something? You're damn right, bro. You're right. Right. What you learn, man, you gotta elevate. Once you elevate yourself and you elevate past the madness and the savageness and the low low level uh, process and thinking, decision making, then you put yourself, you have to understand and trust yourself to be around people that's, that are on your level, man. You can't stay around on the ground. You can't stay down here in the hood and the ghetto and shit associating with people that ain't, they're not thinking like you and it's not throwing no shots out to nobody, man. It's just like some of us, you know, think higher of ourselves. Uh, some y'all would say, oh, you think you high and mighty and all that. Yeah, okay, if I do, then that means I think I'm up here. 
and you think you're down here. So then I need to operate up here with people who think like me up here instead of going down here and thinking, operating with people who, uh, because they don't want to work hard, put the effort in, make something of themselves so they don't think, think better of themselves, think enough of themselves. Why put yourself around that? Because when you put that self around that, you just putting yourself, you just being a crab or an apple in a barrel that's ready to get rotten with the other ones, all right? So one learns, all right? And this is something people know, we know this, all right? But with me, it's just that I never want to think that I'm high and mighty of it, uh, over anybody else or better than anybody else with money or material things and all that stuff. That's not my, you know, I'm not gonna uh, 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 be that person, you know what I'm saying? But I see the dynamics of the prescription that our society uh, uh, alludes to. And I don't want to go too far in before I, we start some of the things we talk about. So let's talk about, uh, we know it's Friday. Hey, hey. TGI Friday, bro. Thank God it's Friday, right? All right, for some of y'all. Hey, right, let me tell you something. Yeah, we happy on Friday. I get boasted for y'all. I here for y'all trying to motivate, coach, inspire. But man, let me tell you something. If every day ain't a Friday type feel for you, hey, right, we need to work on that. We need to work on that, all right? Every day should be like a Friday type feel for you, man. If just because you get to the end of the day, end of the week of a work day, and that makes you so happy, and I get it, believe me, because I've been there, y'all. But every day, man, I would try to live when I was in that work work arena, man, and, and go and grind hard. Every day was Friday for me, man. Every day. Knowing that I got to get up and go grind and stuff. Why complain about, oh, it's Monday or it's Tuesday or thank God it's hump day Wednesday. Man, I start throwing that stuff away and be like, man, every day I'm going to live this mud like Friday, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it makes me feel good thinking in my psychological mind. You know, you got to play tricks because that's what aimed me to the to our affirmation affirmation today all right listen to this one check it out play tricks on or with your mind just as your mind plays tricks with you we'll talk all right under the standard this construction of how we built how we're made how we think how we uh go about our daily how this trans this this body our vehicle goes on and we we, we do our thing we talked about how the mind, man, is just a storage device, all right? It's almost like your rams and stuff. How big is your brain? How much can you hold? How much can you retain, right? So we got to understand that your mind, if it's not co connected fully to it like it's supposed to be, which you connect through your mind, your heart, and then your your uh, your uh, your solar, right? Your your your, your solar plate, your uh, your into your your intuitive, your intuition, all right? So when they're connected, then you're in tune. Now your mind become something you can use, all right? Notice what I say, something you can use, something your spirit can use, something your soul can use. But when you're not connected, right? And you're disconnected, you're not meditating, you're not praying, you're just going off flesh and what your body says and your desires, the five desires. Hey, I'm hungry, Shoot, I'm going to eat. Hey, I am uh, want this, I want that, I want sex, I want this or that. You're going off of them desires, them is just your basic five desires, right? Your desires that your body's going. When you're just going off of that, you're just going off your mind, really, all right? You ain't got no heart in it. You ain't got no intuitive in it. You're just going, you're just going off the whim, all right? So your, when you're in that mode, your mind plays tricks on you, all right? Case in point. I alluded into a story, all right? So I knew today what I, uh, last night, about 8 o'clock, what I wanted to do, get out, go to the Duck Pond, boom, on set for a nice day. I'm going to get out here and do that, woo, 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 right? So understanding as I change in my spiritual realm that I have a lot of spiritual uh, things going on around me because there's people out there that don't necessarily want me to succeed or want me to do my YouTube channel or don't like what I'm talking about and stuff like that. Cool. That's T teaches on. So I know I'm I'm getting all that spiritual feedback. All right. And you can feel it. You know, it's real and intense dense. But with me, um, I feed off that as a, as a challenge. All right. I use that me, myself. All right. Most people wouldn't have, couldn't stand it and be like, man, I ain't gonna give me some sage and burn me some sage and do that. Okay, you know, teach his own. I just know that I'm strong enough to understand and witness and understand it when it's coming around, all right? So I know how to deal with it. All right, so in that, when you, your mind playing tricks on you about 2.30 two in the morning, um, get a, get a, I'm listening to uh, D Virgo, all right? D Virgo Terry. Hey, shout out to you, goddess. Thank you so much. Everything you saying, everything you're in is uh, right on. This is some of the pressure that I'm applying to. Apply the pressure. Thank you. Um, 
So I'm listening to her in that vibe, feeling good, falling asleep a little bit. I know I want to get up a little early and stuff and do, do, do. But mom's still up, you know what I'm saying? So I'm staying up, check, keep an eye on that. And listen to her for about an hour and a half and things. And I get a message, uh, uh, a message or uh, a request on my messenger and on my Facebook. You know, I check it late, late in the morning so I can check out my uh, nieces and nephews, see how they moving, see how they doing, put likes on their thing and stuff. You know, let my dad and mom them look through my eyes and stuff like that. And so, uh, in that, I got a request late in the morning. I was like, what's the request me? Friend request that late in the morning. So I tapped on, I was like, cool, boom, boom. And some dude, go, hey, what's up, Mr. Leon? <laughs> Decepticon. So he come on, and uh, he woo, 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 and i uh, like, okay. Didn't say nothing, so I was like, okay, friend request. I say, uh, well, who's this, man? He said, why? Just put a why in there. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, evidently you got something to tell me or want me to talk to you about something or whatever. You friend request me this early in the morning, whatever. So, okay, well, uh, on my phone, I can't even get uh, whoop de woo, uh, yeah, I know who you are, da da da. Uh, yo, father would be ashamed of you going at, uh, brassing your woman on the, on da da da, out here acting like a little bitch, pussy, whatever. There. Okay, cool. Got it. I was like, oh, okay, got it. You, you that guy, <laughs> or one of them guys. I don't know who you are because I know you, Leon, whatever, and. Don't know you, you in from Big Spring, but don't know your family. I don't know nothing about your dumb man. I don't know who you are, but you know me. Okay, cool. So started quickly to see, okay, this is a trap, except you know, blah blah blah. So brings up da da da. Well, I don't know if I if she if your wife inboxed me, then I probably know it knocked her down, da da da. No, okay, cool, got a trap, whatever, whatever. I was like, hey bro, got it. Lesson learned on my part, man. Hey, you got it now. You whatever, whatever, boom. So every day you mad and your feelings, she didn't choose you or she chose you and dropped you off too or treated you the same way, whatever. Hey, so you coming at me or want to tell me something or want to see my body, hey, cool, whatever. So, you know, he's like, hey, well, I'll screenshot and show her this and let her know that. And I'm like, okay. Man, what's your, what's your, what is your motive here? So went on, cool, went to sleep, da da da. One perturbed, one, you know. That's how I know I'm the healing. You know what I'm saying? I want to tell everybody, show everybody. You'll know when you're healing when things like this don't affect you, man. I'm talking about three in the morning, bro. Didn't sweat me, then because I knew the dynamics, man. I didn't move past the healing, the 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 heartache, the pain of missing somebody, the the void, the emptiness, the uh, disgust on how things went down. All that irrelevant to me now. I, I truly can tell myself. Yeah, you moved on, bro. You, you ready to the next level. You ready for that. So, uh, early in the morning, then get a tech, get a call, get a call from a friend and uh, uh, who I feel that's been helping me through this uh, with both of us trying to get to mediate stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, at this point, I can be honest with everybody in the world that my trust level, I'm still working on that very rarely now. That's going to be my next obstacle I can see is because I don't trust nobody. That's just real. So, you get to that point. You didn't, you didn't rebound over all the things that you um, had to go through, dread it through. Them ducks don't walk up in. Yeah, them ducks walk up in. Don't, 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 if I run, don't get, yeah, them ducks be biting. But you didn't rebound, you didn't cry, you didn't did all that shit and all that. So you, you, you're out of the cocoon stage. You're a, you're a butterfly now. You ready to fly, all right? But the wings are still a little wet, you know what I'm saying? Still got a little dew on, still got a little song, so you still got things to do before you actually take off and go to the next, next paradigm, right? So, in that, you, you, you'll you know that you're over things when, okay, there's no reason to argue. Okay, dude's going to come out and say this, and people going to come out and say this. Everybody going to have a story. <clears throat> you got to ask us, do it really matter? You, you moved on. This is complete. We're just trying to make get to the completion. It ain't no, who did this, why did that, so it, he say that, that. And how I know, you know, the person... Um, my boo called me, say, such such call, said she got this, this, and that's why I was like, yeah, uh, yeah. So there's the connection right there. This dude still got your number. He talked about he didn't call, talk to you in 15 years, but he able to text you within, uh, over them 15 years, this night, this morning, and tell you, hey, Sean said this and this. So that shows how long you've been talking to him, whatever, to teach his own. But, so my friend, you know, didn't want to try to talk and this, this, and, and all that. And it just goes to show me, tells me that I'm on the right path. 
That's what I was getting to, y'all. Uh, like D. Virgo eloquently stated, we are in a spiritual war. And I knew this, but and we all know this. But sometimes we get lax and, and forget sometimes because we got our human lives that we got to live, our body lives. You know, I still take care of mom. You know, I still got to function around around the place and stuff. So we, we live them lives, right? So in that, when um, you get caught up in your own things, right? So in getting caught up in your th own things, sometimes you just got to understand or you try to understand that... Um, You still got to maintain that spiritual worship. You still got to do the best you can to stay steadfast, be consistent. That's the thing. Because we are in the we're in the war of getting these minds right. Um, something that I want to bring is please believe people. You must see and we see that. This war is serious and we got this 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 thing going on, you know, and you have to, I guess you have to flow with it. You gotta go with the flow, but you have to go with the flow with a spiritual mind. I think this is what a lot of, I know this is what a lot of spiritual uh, folks and teachers and lecturers was talking about early in the game is if you ain't in tune spiritually, mentally and stuff like that, you're gonna fall in this trap right here and you're gonna, you're gonna get fucked up. And a lot of us are, man, all right? And it's sad, but I understand now why I must stand. I must stand on what I'm doing. I must use my platform, use this platform to be an example because that's the that's the key. Other spiritual folks seeing that standing on your own, whether you by yourself, whether you're with somebody, whatever, man, you can make this happen because it's you. You you are a fucking lethal weapon in this world and, and a lot of people ain't gonna know that. A lot of people ain't gonna tell you that. A lot of people ain't gonna be able to show that. That's what makes a lot of us chosen because we ain't, we ain't got no qualms of stepping out on our warriorship, our spirituality, and connecting it and being aligned with what we're doing down here. What's important? We see that these pandemics and stuff is breaking up family values and family. It was made to do that, all right? I don't know. I'm not going to sit up here and make it a black and white thing. I can't do that with no more, all right? Because it's more uh, my own folks. How can I sit up there and say it's a black and white thing when it's my own folks sit up there stabbing me in the back? Ain't no white people hurting me right now. Ain't no white people trying to stop me and what I'm doing right now. If anything, they're encouraging me. If anything, they, they're the ones in the comments saying, man, we need more of this. We need more of you. Speak out. If anything, it's real Christians, white Christians coming out and saying, hey, might not identify with your ideology, but man, you sure is talking something, you telling something, you putting, you making me think. You making me go research. You making me go more, learn more about myself. That's encouraging. But what I'm seeing is more black folks, right? My own folks, my family, folks, friends and stuff that can't handle the message, don't want to learn from the message, don't want to learn things, don't want to be uh, uh, a better individual because they're stuck in the ways that they like, to, of things that they like to do. What is what you like to do? You like to, you know, continue to joke, smoke and strip clubs and, you know, uh, uh, Occults and being these sexual paradigms and all this stuff, man. What? Hey, come on now. How's that better than I said? We ain't doing nothing but a continuous cycle of destructive behavior. And we got to stop. And we will because there's enough of us out here going to call it out, man. That's why we know y'all y'all sit back there and y'all just be in y'all little, little feelings and stuff and endo endos and stuff and <laughs> walk around like you walking around people's houses and won't talk to them and all that shit. You gonna pick their brain because you see they lighting it up. Yeah, I got really I'll take in line, line, y'all. Same Pentecostal church that I, I stay across the street from, went for went to for what shit, eight years and shit. And people ain't talked to me in years. Now they walking on their walls, it's sunny. I start walking. Hey Sean, how you doing? Da, da, da. Keep, oh, yeah, I'm doing good. How you keep moving? But they can't keep moving. They want to stop, walk around, walk back around, talk to you, stop. Hey, what's going on? You didn't talk to me when I was in the church. You didn't talk to me when I wasn't in the church. You ain't talked to me since I've been out the church, been divorced, everything. You calling me, how your wife? And I tell y'all, man, we ain't even together no more. Y'all ain't been coming around there, nothing. Send a letter, send a, 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 
get well. I hope y'all doing all, none of that. None of that, people. That's what I'm saying. That's why I go at they necks. That's why I go at they necks. Because they fake. If you're not riding and going along with their paradigm and they motherfucking thinking and all that stuff, they don't want nothing to do with you. And then when you are free thinking, you can outthink they ass and you know and they see you elevate past what the fuck they they say was watching. They was watching your boy up in there and his feelings and all that stuff and thought, hey, yeah, he'll commit suicide in a minute. We'll be able to bury him and have a have thing in him. Make money off that. Get your motherfucking ass away from me. Real talk. Stay away from me if you drinking that damn Kool-Aid. But if you drinking that Kool-Aid and you coming to me because you want to stop drinking that Kool-Aid, go. Let it be known. Come up on me. Let it be known. Hey, look here. I think you can get you can detox me from this bullshit. Let it be known. And then I don't think you as a threat. But you walking up on me. Hey, shining. And then who's that John B? And get your ass out of my face. That's who that is. I'm in my own space, in my own energy. I don't need that bullshit around me. I don't know what demons attached to you, just like Kevin J said, that woman touching him and shit. I don't know you, your dirty ass thought. Don't touch me, I'm royalty. I ain't out here being promiscuous, got dicks all in my mouth and ass and stuff. Don't disrespect, but that's how these fools are rolling. So you do gotta watch who touching you. You do gotta watch who fucking talking to you and stuff like that. Because you don't want they dem demonic spirits and shit that they been doing out here in the back, in the closet and shit, and the skeletons try to be brought on you and shit. That's what's going on. That is what's going on. We in the spiritual warfare, baby. And we starting to see some of these people falling, man. You know, when, when you artificial, when you superficial, you know what you need, right? Money. Money make you tick. Money make you go around. Money the only reason why you, you get up in the morning and work. And I see some of us don't need that. Some of us say, we got it, we got it. As long as I got enough food in the refrigerator, Gas in the car to give me where I need to go to. Hey, well, what I need? I can entertain myself. I'm creative, don't you see? Huh? People like us, we creative. We don't need that guap. The guap, man, I ain't trying to deny the guap because I'm going to go get that guap. But I don't need it to be all to make me who I am, to help me do that. I didn't need no guap to get over here. I didn't fly on no goddamn million dollar goddamn ship to get over here. I rode in my little Chrysler with my little ten dollar gas in there, huh? Sitting in my little chair, my little son. You know what I'm saying? I don't take money to do what you got to do, but this is our condition. We got people out there. I ain't got no money. I can't. I ain't got no. Get creative. Do you? Do what you do. What you love to do. Start your YouTube channel and speak on yourself. Get your dance challenge on something. You know what I'm saying? Do something creative, though. Shot. Hey, change your directions. You know how I am, ladies. You know it's still that day. Hey, let's get something out the way, ladies. Whoa, you know, you know. Because if I don't do this right now, y'all going to... It's Friday, and y'all gonna be running in them stores, spending up our little money. We trying to save. We trying to store. We trying to get us a little saving plan. Hey Sean, hey Sean, what kind of saving plan do you got? Oh, I got the money bag. Hey, hey, I got the money bag. Wait, wait, we got them. We got it. Y'all thought I was gonna bring that money bag? Man, I had to bring the money back, y'all. I ain't know what you. I might not got enough gas in the car. I might have to put a little gas in the car. Couple of nickels, trickle nickels. The money bag string falling off, man. What the hell going on? They trying to cut. They trying to shut us down. Don't shut us down, YouTube. Don't shut us down. We like the money bag ground. Hey, it's Friday. Hey, look here. Y'all know how I was in the beginning, man. I wasn't really on that. Like, subscribe, do all that, get on that, man. Because I was like, man, if I got to do all that, man, I ain't doing what I'm supposed to do on this thing. But, you know, nigga know now, he got in the game, got to play the game, got to play the game for what the game worth. Like, 
subscribe, comment, please, with that, J, get with me, because you see us grand rising. Hey, hey, so we got the money back. Hey, so this Friday, I want to explain on the money back, because I don't think I was real clear on the money back. I always want to become clear. Hey, that's another thing. Check this out. A lot of us go through these relationships and stuff, and we be popped off, well, 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 and it's communication. We call it in the military, man. Let's bring a little military outcrop to you. Effective communication. Sometimes we think we are effectively communicating, but we might be missing a word like me, myself. Some people say, man, you talk fast, man. Or, you know, and I do. All right. Yeah, I really do. So sometimes I have to make sure that I'm talking clearly in that fast speech because I can miss some words or miss this. And then I got that Ebonics go through me. I got all kinds of shit combined in my damn language. So, on that, if you, sometimes we lash out and we got to tell ourselves, hey, maybe I just didn't effectively get the point across. Be set up like that. Be already set up like that before you get mad at somebody and you think that they didn't get the information or they're not doing the things or they didn't hear what you said. Be already set up, hey, oh, okay, what, what information did you get when I said that? And, I, woo, 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 and then you'd be like, oh, okay, my bad, you know, I should have said this, 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 all right? So effective communication is one thing I leave out there for my people, all right? Do your best. Now, hey, on the pennies, so we're gonna break it down. Penny, that's a dollar. We already know that, right? So when you put that penny in there, hey, you putting a dollar in there while we're doing that. Because at the end of the year, man, we're going at the end of the year, y'all, ladies, me and y'all can follow along too, but me and most of y'all, we, we know we probably take care of the checkbook, we take care of the crypto book, the whatever the book, we balance the house, this, that, we the bread week or so. You probably might already have a savings type system, all right? But if you want to join in, man, come on, man. Saving is for everybody. Because what I'm trying to do, man, at the end of the year, the end of the year, when you're trying to do at the end of the year, New Year's, or some of y'all still celebrate Christmas and all that stuff, but you be putting yourself in a bond because, you know, you be using your own little Christmas money on that year, your last paycheck or whatever, whatever, putting stuff on railway and stuff like that. Man, a uh, uh, young lady showed me a couple years ago, man, get you a piggy bank. I, I thought it was crazy. I'm like, I'm an adult. Fuck, I need a piggy bank. I'm on the dope. It's like, man, you, Sean, you wouldn't understand how much coins and stuff you, you have in your pocket and you driving them out. You stick in that piggy bank. You see at the end of the year, that piggy bank, man, stack. And then you take that piggy bank to the bank, put in that coin machine, rah, and you get you about a hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. I didn't watch my kids do this, man. I didn't put this on my kids. Them kids at the end of the year, they can't keep the damn piggy bank full for three, four months because they be buying games and all that stuff. That's when they was young. So that penny a dollar. What you think that five cent gonna be? Five dollars, you already know, all right? The 10, 10 dollars, you already know. Now, I ain't gonna sit up here in front, that's a goddamn dollar piece, but I'm gonna use it as a quarter. I was in it earlier, using that as a dollar piece, telling y'all that was a quarter, and I was just fronting like a motherfucker, knowing I had a dollar piece, because I knew y'all didn't know, and I could change the optics, like they do in Hollywood, weird or weird, just lie to you and shit, tell you any goddamn thing. But I said, this is my channel. If I told these people I wasn't gonna lie to them, be transparent, and now they following me and shit, got more subscribers, got more things, and I'm still lying to them. I can't do that. I can't lie to y'all. I can't lie to y'all. No, no. So I'm put this goddamn dollar piece in here, but it's a quarter, Susan. This is a quarter. $20. $20. So now we didn't put, let's count that shit up. Look, look, watch this, watch this. You didn't put a dollar in there. You didn't put $10 in there. That's $11. You didn't put a $5 in there, that's $16. Hey, gonna get hard, wash your mouth now. 25, that's 20 more dollars. 16 times 20, how much you got? Come on now, 16 times 20. Y'all know, do your math, all right? I know some of us be short in that math. I'm one that don't like math that much, but you got $36 already. You didn't put $36 in your money bag this Friday. No, no, you didn't do it this Friday. But what I'm trying to show you is, you stack it like that, all right? So every time I stack in there, now watch this, this caveat. We're gonna do this every Friday, y'all. Work with me, every Friday, all right? So every Friday, when you put that in there, the end of the month, so the end of this month, March 30th, 31st, whichever one it want, you gonna have to own to this bag. Whatever you've put in this bag, coin-wise, you got to put in your savings account. Talk to me. I'll be walking this paradigm with you. I'm gonna take the coins out the money bag. 
I'm going to go to my ATM machine, take out the amount of coins that I put in my saving money bag, go to the damn bank. I'm going to put that bitch in the savings in front of y'all. And I'm going to continue doing this. And I'm going to save money. And hopefully y'all going to ride with me. And we're going to save money. And hopefully at the end of the year, woo, you didn't save money to do what the hell you want to do. If it's for somebody else, if it's for yourself, hopefully it's for yourself. Hopefully at the end of the year I can say, in the December, almost December, hopefully in October, I can say, hey, meet me in Hawaii, Susan, Jeffrey, Mike, Spiritual Tribe, let's go meditate around the volcano so that motherfucker don't erupt or, or erupt, whichever one we want to do. Holla at your boy. We moving! <laughs> hey, y'all see me in a good spirit? Most definitely. Most deaf, y'all. Life's beautiful. You and you can feel the change around you. Because you felt the change within inside you so long, man. It, it's a beautiful thing. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you no lie, y'all. All right? Beautiful feeling. Let's get to the, let's talk about, before we get to the wisdom bag, let's talk about our, our, uh, our justice who's going to be uh, serving on the Supreme Court. Uh, man, I wish I would have, I wrote that baby's name down. I keep forgetting to get her name. It's not really what I, my topic I talk about, but I, I just want all my women out there, man, keep pushing that energy towards that, that, uh, that lovely situation where that. We have our first um, black African-American indigenous woman, how you want to look at it, on the Supreme Court. Um, many of y'all probably have fell away from the paradigm of politics and don't even fool with it or be like, yeah, it's full of shit and all this stuff. But I, I, I ain't got to be honest, I'm, I'm not on that realm. I was an advocate, um, a politician, poli political person, get on it, talk about it, all that stuff, understand the dynamics. I think if I would have went in politics, I would have been a very savvy Dude, but I know I would have turned out corrupt because that's what the fuck they do. They just they throw that money at you to change your to, to change your thinking and change your wild. Or I would have got in and I wouldn't have been in it long, you know. But I wouldn't have just went with the paradigm like the black cloth caucus and all this black shit and all that shit they do up in there and they think they changing shit, doing shit, uh, and they ain't doing a goddamn thing for black people. Shit, throwing bread curls at us and shit. But um, what I look at is us black women black men getting up in higher places and being seen doing it. The optics for our kids. Um, we might not, a lot of, all of us think that not, not all of us are on the same paradigm thinking of what o Obama brought to the plate, what he did for us and what he didn't do for us. But we are under understanding that the optics of it did change the paradigm within our neighborhoods, within the ghettos, within the education system of our minority folk. And it did inspire a lot of the, our minority kids and and, 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 and um, African American and um, people to see somebody of color doing something and, and put some ump and fire up under them. You know, that's what you ultimately desire. It ain't what you're trying to be. Yes, man, who got your back in it when you're trying to be in it? All right, so um, with that, you know, yeah, send that energy to that to that beautiful, beautiful goddess, man, because more to come, more is coming. All right, uh, how do you know? Because she's going to get up there and shine. <laughs> she gonna get up there and outshine all them fools. She gonna get there and show hey shit. When she writing all her little dissertations, all that stuff and law stuff, she gonna be she gonna be articulate that and they're gonna be like they're gonna say the same thing they said about Obama. Damn he articulate ass nigga. Where they where this motherfucker come from? Damn he's smart, da 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 same shit. And they're gonna be like, man, we need to get the get the rest of them up here. We coming. That's what the grand rising is, baby. Putting the black tastic into it, baby. We coming! <laughs> Love it, baby. Hey, right, so we get in the wisdom bag. We get in the wisdom bag. Someone say, why you got that wisdom bag, man? I'm trying to get out that wisdom. I'm trying to make sure we on level, vibrating on the high frequency, man. Tune in. Tune your frequency in, man, so you can be smooth, live with it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be on no roller coaster. I, I, I can't, I can't do this, can't do that. No, you can't do nothing. Shit. You ain't vibrating, you ain't vibrating high enough. You ain't sitting down. Huh? You, you, you doing this? You on a rat? You a rat? 
your mouse in that little that trap thing that's gonna just going like this. Where you going, rat? What's your purpose, rat? And a lot of us are that. We don't know what we're doing. Here we go. Your mind is a gift. Your heart is a prize. Your soul is a blessing. Your life is a reward. Wow. Wow. Let's function with it. I'll read it again, man. That's a deep one, y'all. Oh. Your mind is a gift. Your heart is a prize. Your soul is a blessing. Your life is a reward. Wow. All right. All right. All parts of them components are gifts. 